All right, so we're checking out the only game where people are basically born to die. It's Florida, which is represented in city skylines. Previously, we created so much traffic in Florida that it made the game completely unplayable and broke everything. Today, I want to do something even worse. Utilizing the fact that we no longer have any limitations on exactly how many objects can be inside the game at any one time, I want to create a city where people come to die. Yes, I know that's like 90% of Florida. But what I mean is it will be a city that I will build up with tons of creatures and then we will throw it into the atmosphere with a completely inappropriately sized tsunami. I'm not just gonna throw it into the sky with a tsunami from one side either. I'm gonna do it from all the sides. Then I'm probably gonna see if I can contain the tsunami within the area that we create in Florida to kill people. If just having that many cars in the area made the game as bad as it was, I'm really hoping that if I throw everything up into the atmosphere, we completely break anything else that was left of this game. So, I was trying to think of a name of a place where people go and live their lives and then eventually they're going to get tossed into space. The only thing I could think of, you all know Oakland? This is worse. It's Yeatland. I like how in the middle of Florida, there's just these couple of flop houses that look like teenagers get skinned. I feel like every missing persons report comes back to these houses. They're sitting here, they're like, Gray, you may take our homes, but you'll never take our freedom. You're right about one thing. Get the hell out of here and take your charred college student corpses with you. All right, now that I've got rid of that blemish on the tip, we can once again use the, I don't know what to call this, the end, maybe the head of Florida as our canvas for which we will create our Bob Ross picture of rusting. Now I learned from the last time, I had thought that making small roads would be a good idea because you could get a lot of traffic in and like keep it there because it won't move very much. But the truth is you want the thickest roads you can. I actually want the six lane road with bicycle lanes because it would be fantastic to watch like a billion cyclists riding the tsunami. Putting a lot of effort into this particular yeet. I really want most of my people to live in here as well instead of making like a trailer park level slum. I still may make one of the letters higher than the other letters though so that certain people can feel like they're better than everyone else. They'll be up high and they'll be like, are we going to be spared, Gray? No, you're just gonna be the first ones to see death coming. What's great is you could come down here and look at this and be like, wow, this looks like a legitimate place. Look at those roads and how they're spaced. And then as you zoom out, you're like, <sighs> I'm gonna make this one the low density zone. I know there's a lot of jokes here. Like I can be like, congratulations, this is where your low density zone will be. And the people will be like, why? I'm gonna make the connections go underground. Again, there's no limit to how far down you can make them. So what the hell? <laughs> I love the fact that somehow there's gonna be a build area down there too, going straight to hell. Sure game, show me how you're gonna connect this. Seems legit. I need like an area for industrial stuff too. Perfect. There we go. It takes forever for anyone to get educated so you all get to die slowly by inhaling asbestos in the industrial zones. I wanted to do a connection over on this side since I have one over here now. And all I've done was created a very troubling pit. All right, the Yeet's looking pretty strong. My question is who is gonna be the very first to move in? Wow, it was the E. I mean, it was the, the second E. I'm actually just curious. I just want to fill up the exclamation point over here with the sewage. One way or another, people have decided that moving into Yeetland would be a good idea. All right, the sewage exclamation point is doing quite well. I'm gonna tell you something, those are some invincible trees if they're just gonna be spending their whole lives inside of sewage. As usual, a little bit of education so that people completely understand just how bad this idea is. Everyone gets a police headquarters. Even you guys over here. Man, y'all output a lot of rectal fluids. That's okay though, we can make this deeper. Actually, what happens if I make a road through this? Clearly nothing could go wrong here. What you wanna do is you make your road go way down like this. See, there we go. Now it has a place for it all to dream. And then you make your road pop up somewhere like uh, this. There we go. All right, the core of the earth filled up real quick. So I'm having to make this place a little bit deeper. And by a little bit deeper, I mean a lot deeper. 
What the hell? What was... Did I just see a vehicle riding on its side? Damn near taking out my friggin' pedestrians? Yeah, whatever, I'm sure it's fine. Also, how come the only person that decided to live on the edge over here was like a manufactured home? I mean, I guess it's a smart idea because if this thing just falls down the pit into nowhere, it's cheap to get another one. The scent of ass and smog is really starting to take this place over. I think I may have a way to get rid of some of the sewage because it's piling up very quickly. All right, so we'll go like this, go like this come over here. I never really thought about it, but I'm kind of curious what happens when the tidal waves come in and also yeets all the sewage. Like, does it does it just mix together? Okay, we, we need more space for all the sewage. That's okay though, I've got a plan for this as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna build a moat around Yeetland. But instead of, you know, being a moat with water, it's going to be a moat with sewage. And that will be the very first line of defense before the tsunamis. I can't see how this would possibly go wrong. All right. Just kind of core my way around like this here. Oh, yeah. It's going to take a good long time to fill this moat up. City's starting to grow quite nicely. There is the pungent aroma of 40 year old burritos that kind of surrounds the entirety of Yeatland. But I mean, if you've lived here for any length of time, you probably don't even notice it anymore. I do like the fact that there is a lot of bicyclists out. All right, it's good to see that the uh, sewage is spreading quite far. Got it all the way down over here. Now there is a bit of a land wall here because of the road that we put down, but it's no big deal. I've decided I wanna make a road outline going around the moat of crap. You gotta have it right like this so that people get an excellent view. <laughs> Staring down into the pit of despair. In retrospect, this probably wasn't the best place for a road because the lowest part of the dip is pretty close to the sewage. On the plus side though, the sewage has made its way almost completely around the entire moat. This is the last little piece that it has to go to fill in the moat. I had really hoped that people would take advantage living on the pit of despair over here. And they absolutely are. I'm not gonna lie. Part of me wanders through Yeatland, trying to figure out exactly where in the hell we got 25,000 people from who would live here on purpose. These are clearly either the dregs of society, they're too unintelligent to know what's coming, or they just don't care. I'm about to make a sewage ash souffle. And you guys are the stuffing. How's it going there, buddy? Yeah, I see you, uh, I see you put a gate up in front of your house. This isn't gonna save you. The Y is definitely the nicest place in Yeatland because, uh, over here by the second E, it's all construction and avocados. This place actually reminds me a lot of when I went to LA. What in the holy hell is going on over here? What, do we make a cloning facility? It's like the same blonde lady got cloned like 400 times. So real quick, I want to mention something. You know how some people go to the mall and they'll sit there and they'll follow you to get your parking spot. They'll follow you a quarter mile to get your parking spot. So like, this is like, you know, noob, you know, skilled parking spot, pro, and then elite. When you're parking on what is effectively an artifact of the ground, that's incredible. Also, what the hell? Is, why is there <laughs> this people back in on this bench? I was wondering why there was a couple people back here. There's freaking benches over here. These people are like, man, the shade is fantastic on this side of the building. This guy might actually be better than the last guy just because he managed to park a quarter of his car in the concrete. This is the cheapest part of Yeatland. These are the outskirts. It's cheap just because these are the first people to go during the purge. We like to plant palm trees around to give you that real Florida feeling. I mean, I guess if the scent of rotting eggs from all of the sewage doesn't do it for you. I'm really happy that the traffic is starting to back up real bad. That's just more ammo for the tsunami. So, you know, you have like some hospitals and some houses and these people are courageous. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is the start of the pit to hell. And then you have people living over here. How? How is this happening? Nothing says city skylines like 
a building that's half inside of a road that's built on like an 84 degree angle while a bicyclist bicycles up the bike path right next to it. San Francisco exists and more avenue is like, hold my beer. Oh no, I just realized people literally have to drive through the sewage. I didn't know we finally got part of the road under, <laughs> under the sewage, but we sure do. Yeah, that's great. Go in with a convertible, come out with a blood infection. Why would you bicycle through this? <laughs> Gray still plays. Uh, here reminding you to always save often. Plenty of cars, plenty of pedestrians, plenty of cyclists. It is time to begin what I like to call the yeetening. It's like the happening, except people die in legitimate ways. Now, presumably, all I have to do is hold down some button and slowly scroll like this. And then the moment I turn the time back on, we should see the apocalyptic wave of sadness begin to move toward the city. I don't wanna go too fast now. I would like to take a moment to also say to everyone that lived in Yeetland that I am very impressed with the amount of sewage that you all managed to produce. All right, here we go. That should roughly connect everything. I got, all you gotta do now is just turn stuff on. All right, so now we get to see what happens to all of the anal sludge. Uh, it does look like it's connecting or maybe possibly just the the rivers of sadness will collect here. Oh, here we go. It's possible that it's gonna protect Yeetland. Don't worry, it's not going to protect Yeetland. I'm going to continue to make these waves bigger and bigger until it plows through the moat. I love how these ambulances are like, oh, we stopped just in time, son of a bitch. I'm not gonna lie, now this place is starting to look a lot more like Florida. Ah, here we go. A literal sewage tsunami. <laughs> Remember that hole that I made? Oh, people are legitimately driving down there now. <laughs> That's probably the worst way they get ejaculated out the top of the hole. Come on, bicyclists. You can make it away from the sewage tsunami. I know you can. This building over here is looking like it could use a bit of a cleaning. <laughs> is there anything more terrifying when you're not only getting obliterated by a tsunami, but you're getting obliterated by a mile high tsunami of crap over here in the nicer part of the city. I think everyone is taking this quite well. Look at how high I'm starting to get audio artifacting or something. Look at how high the vehicles go. This is the uh, this is the second E of the city. This was always the place that I said was the worst to live. Kind of like LA. It's also getting the biggest of all of the waves. Remember when you double parked, you bastard? I told you, you were gonna pay one way or the other. There we go. <laughs> Some of the people can't move backwards. They just get shucked back. I always said I wanted to clean this city up. All right. Well, on the plus side, there's a lot of open property here in Yeetland. And somehow there's still 834 people left alive. All right, 783. Now it's looking more like a appropriate Florida marshland. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of City Skylines. Till next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>